I did it. I'm finally here. After four years of pointless essays, all-nighters, and annoying classmates, I'm finally... Hold up. You think you're done? My god, you just finished life's tutorial. What? what <laughs> So it's finally time. You're done with the tutorial and you're entering the real world now. Personally, I've done only a year in the real world now, so I don't really know why people find it so hard. Yeah, it's just so easy for me to grow. I'm really mature. I basically know everything there is to know about being an adult. Okay, yeah, I don't know everything. But here's what I do know. After high school, you're free. You get to do whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be. Chase your dreams because that's what life is all about. <laughs> you didn't think I was being serious. Wait! You're in the real world now. It isn't fun or full of candy and roses. I'm talking responsibilities. Working towards progressing every aspect of your life. Your career, education, social life, romantic relationships, and your health. You see, I've realized life can be broken up into these categories. Career, education, social life, romance, and health. As you work and make each part of your life better, you run into problems that you weren't ready for and then realize what life is really about. Now I know it sounds like a lot. Alright, let's get into it. The first priority is always your career and education. And that's because you're wondering, what am I going to do that's enjoyable and will also keep me from starving? Unfortunately, that is the spectrum you're working with. The reason why I'm going over career and education together is because usually getting a higher education is to get a better job. Which leads me to the first realization you're going to have. Not knowing what the hell you're going to do. There's no path you have to follow anymore like high school. It's just life. You choose where to go and what to do. Everyone around you is going to look like they know what they're doing, but trust me, they don't. Probably. After you're done with your life crisis and giving it some thought, you'll most likely end up doing one of three things. More school, work, or taking a gap. And if you haven't decided yet, you're taking too long and you're probably gonna end up taking a gap. Either way, you're thinking it's your chance to find what it is you're really passionate about. A chance for you to experiment with things you enjoy and maybe even do a little traveling. A gap can be really valuable. But be f***ing for real. You don't have any money for travels and you're not motivated enough to stick to any new hobbies. So what really ends up happening is you lose track of time and oops, it's already over and you still don't know what to do. If you're going straight into the workforce, it means one of three things. You have a connection to get you into the field you want, uh, you're making money off a side hustle, or you're going into the military. And if you aren't doing any of these, then oh boy, I hope you have some mad skills and experience to back you up, because getting a job straight out of high school is hard. A good one. I guess getting a job isn't that hard. Whether it's university, community college, trade school, or getting certificates, most people will go for a higher education. Some do it just for a piece of paper, Others do it for a skill that can help them in their career. It doesn't matter what it is. It's gonna cost more money than you have. Now, once you've chosen one of the three, you're gonna realize you need money. You need money to move around. You need money for school. You need money to pay the government money when you work. You are gonna have a moment where you think, holy shit, existing is expensive. Learn a budget, save money, and use it wisely. Eventually you'll figure it out though. Get your education, have better finances. So what's next? Your social life is either gonna explode or completely plummet. First things first, you're gonna lose your high school friends. Your social life can explode if you're already an outgoing person and you live an average college life. So I'm talking going to parties, going to clubs. I wouldn't know because I don't do that stuff. But if you aren't the type to put yourself out there, Making friends is hard as fuck. Nobody gives a shit about you in college, really. Everybody's just there to do what they need to do. So again, you really have to make an effort to meet new people. And not only that, you have to put in more effort to upkeep those new friendships. If you aren't going to college, your social life is dead. You, it's not recoverable. Where the hell do you even like meet people? Like I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. And we don't even have to get into finding a relationship. Unless you're a person who approaches people randomly, it's gonna be rough. You could always start apps. At this point, it kind of feels like you have to just because it's the easiest way to meet more people. But all right, let's say you have a nice group of friends and a relationship or you just came to terms with being alone forever. Once you start getting busier managing your career, education, relationship, all that stuff, you're gonna have another realization. Your health is shit. Turns out you have to invest in your health in order to not feel like garbage every day. And that means exercising, getting enough sleep, and eating right. But taking care of your health isn't just that physical stuff. 
it's mentally too. Again, everybody is too busy with themselves to care about how you're feeling. And I know it's sad, but it's true. So you gotta get good at being happy on your own, or at least able to get yourself out of a rut. It's harder than it sounds, I know. That's why it's one of the big realizations that you have when you become an adult. You'll start to get the hang of things, and once you do, you'll notice that you don't have as much time as you used to. Yeah, you have to allocate enough time to the things you feel are the most important to you. Unfortunately, we can't keep bragging about how we're losing sleep or about how we have more work to do than other people. You have to sleep in order to have enough energy and you have to have a good work-life balance. I still have a problem with this because I idolize the grind set. It sounds cool being a person that's so dedicated to something that they sacrifice their sleep and their health in order to work more for it. But the truth is, it isn't cool. Having a balanced life is the way to go. And if you also have a problem depriving yourself of sleep, be an adult and watch my sleep video. Alright, that's it.